spike twist, spike twist, okay. Oh, we got us another... Probably there. I don't really care for these. I hope that it unlocks some. Otherwise, I'm just kind of bad. I could have seen it. Oh, I'm it's a store. I'm looking up the ground to see if there's any type of... Like some type of secret weapon or anything. Doing these. If not, then I'm not even bothered. Like about to happen. Come on. I might Let's unlock some. I don't know. I'm about to take the risk and do it. Don't even have fight scenes for you. Okay, so just dialogue. Oh. oh, what do I do? It would be pointless to try again. This is a real pickle. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Is something wrong? No, no, no. I've just grown a bit worried. I'm the manager of this figurine shop, you see, and it feels like my customer base has been, well, shrinking of late. Shrinking? Hmm. You don't think? Yeah. We could have a potential deluser situation on our hands. Let's pick his brain a bit. Sir, I was just wondering, is your shop in danger of closing as a result of your low customer base? Mm, not exactly. It's not an immediate concern, at least. But if things keep up like this, it could become one. If it's all right with you, can I ask for a few more details about your specific situation? Hmm. Well, th that's a rather odd thing to ask. It's fine, I suppose, but it'll just be me grumbling for 20 minutes or so. These days, everyone's buying things off the internet, so I've been trying to come up with some ways to up my numbers. One of the ways to do that, I realized, was to try targeted marketing towards female customers. That makes sense. In my experience, when women find something they like, they stick with it for a long time. Right. Characters popular for even the shortest of time still have lesions of female fans utterly devoted to them. So I, uh, figured I'd start steadily targeting women with my figurine orders, and the shipments began pouring in. But I'm not exactly a ladies' man. I guess you could say I built it, but they haven't come. I need to find some ways to attract more female customers and make them feel comfortable in my store. Well, if that's all you're worried about, maybe I could try bringing in some female business for you. I'm pretty good at appealing to the feminine mind if I do say so myself. For real? You do that for me? That would totally save my hide. If you're serious, this dude don't even sound concerned. I hate to ask, but would you pass these flyers out to girls around town? Specifically girls who seem like they get anime, passionate and bubbly. They're the key to good sales. Got it. I'll come back after I spread the word. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. Uh, Saki? Is this really the time to be volunteering for a marketing job? It's fine. It might even be related to the delusions in some way. And it gives us a good excuse to talk to people. Gotta go to all the question marks. Well, what do you think? Should we check the place out? Um, well, I do kind of want to, but like... Those two seem promising. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, you two wouldn't happen to be in the figurines, would you? Huh? Uh, well, see, we heard that this place just started selling figurines of the characters from our favorite anime. Right, but, well, we've never been to a figurine shop before, and we're a little skeet. These places are such boys' clubs, right? Oh, I know what you mean, but if that's all that's bothering you, never fear. Instead, here, take one of these flyers. 
What's this now? This shop is trying to expand to the female fan base. The owner wants it to be a no pressure, fun kind of place. Oh, let me see. Look, look! It's an Azure Plum figurine! And an Emerald Plum one, too! Naturally, the second and third sons are just so dreamy. Well, what do you think? Can we count on your business? Oh, absolutely! We'll head on in right now. Yeah, I've got a pretty good feeling about this place. Thanks so much! We look forward to seeing you there. Nailed it! A twofer, even! You've got the business smile down, Pat, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm kind of used to it at this point. Used to it? Just take a good look at the figurines, then see if you change your tune. When they're done well, they're art. You don't understand. You, you won't even give them a chance. Yeah, yeah. But those characters with their skimpy outfits, the stores that sell them are totally just boys' clubs. It's all just a bunch of pervy junk. Why would I want to take a good look at crap like that? Oh, would you listen to yourself? So close-minded. Let's go talk to those two, shall we? Right. Time I know got feminists written all over here. First off, here. Take one of these, both of you. Huh? What's this? Some kind of flyer? <gasps> it's got an opal plum figurine on it! This store is working hard to be a one-stop destination for all the kinds of figurines women enjoy. Oh, no kidding! I had no idea there was a place like this around here. See, I told you. Figurines for women are all the rage lately. You're all about Opal Plum, right? You want to go take a look together? Yeah, I guess so. If they've got Opal Plum figurines there, they can't be all that bad. All right, that's what I'm screaming. <laughs> um, thank you. This could be the start of something beautiful and it's all because of your flyer. Not at all, thank you. We look forward to seeing you at the store. Nice job. Yeah, and we bagged a guy customer while we were at it too. Saki? Pretty sure that girl's a bona fide otaku. Oh, right. Score. Let's give her one of the flyers. Excuse me, but you seem troubled. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I thought she was my friend, dog. She knew how much I love my sweet crimson plum. But then she went ahead and did it anyway. She just popped onto her sock puppet account and started clipping how much bigger a fan she is. Cold F. Am I right? Ugh. Oh, well, when the Japanese girls start talking like this. So, so, so angry. Oh, bro. Sock puppets? Asahi, explain. Crimson Plum is a popular anime hero, and sock puppets are secret secondary online accounts used for nefarious ends. Oh, okay then. I was the one who introduced her to him. Me! And now this? What in the ever-loving fudge is her major malfunction? So, Crimson Plum, what kind of character is he? Oh, 
He's just the cutest. The cutest dog. He's the eldest son of seven kids and... Uh, Saki, this seems like it could go on for a while. How about we give her the flyer and vamoose? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hey, I don't suppose Crimson Plum's on this flyer anywhere, is he? Huh? What flyer? Oh, yes! That's him right there! That's my husband -o. Wait, does this shop have the limited edition figurine of him in stock? Yo, that's like super mega ultra rare! Hmm, maybe it's overstock from canceled pre-orders. All I know is, if you want it, now's your chance. Whoa, for realsies? I need to get over there like yesterday! Never thought I'd be able to find my boy in figure form. Thanks for the Joho dog! This will show the world who the real Crimson Plumber is. Oh. Well, that was certainly a thing. What I tell you, this is, as they say, my jam. Whew. The last flyer has found a home. Nice work. A little too nice, in a way. How come you're so good at this again? I didn't actually say, but it's because I do this kind of thing a lot at my part-time job. Huh? You have a job? Yep. I work at a sports bar on my days off from school. It's a pretty popular place. We have so many customers, I guess I'm just used to meeting demands and schmoozing. Hmm. Interesting. Probably also doesn't hurt that the place's uniform is super cute, though. But never mind that. Considering your chosen profession, I imagine all this work talk isn't really doing it for you. In other words, take some time and find a job, dingus. Hey, you're a pretty neat-like little thing yourself. I don't see you working. Being adorable is my job, I'll have you know. Oh. I'll show you adorable, you little... That's enough of that now. Let's head back to the figurine shop and see if business is booming. With all these new customers, the manager ought to be happy as a clam. You're back. Yep, doing good business now, I hope. <laughs> if by good you mean great, then yeah. Thanks to you folks, this place is hopping. We've had a veritable cavalcade of female customers, and figurines are just flying off the shelves. I haven't seen this kind of business in such a long time. I'm so happy, I could cry. That's great. I'm really glad we could be of some help to you. Thank you both so much. I don't know how I could ever repay you. As always, Oh, hey! Glad I caught you before you left. This is for you, as a token of my appreciation. Yeah. Hmm? What the heck? Saki, did he just see Pinkoon? That's a good question. Hmm. Must have up and left. Pity. This definitely raises some questions. Oh, well. Forgive a poor figurine man his imagination. I just thought I saw a cute little fairy in here. <laughs> Probably something I hate coming back to haunt me. Anyway, I had to give you a token of my thanks. This is for you. Wow, thank you very much. Come again anytime. Because of you, this place is going to do just fine. Hey, am I on Figurine Shop Impossible? <laughs> oh, forget it. Hey, Saki, you don't think that guy could be a loser, do you? Well, he did notice Pinkoon. So that's a pretty reasonable question. But, uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Based on his reaction, I'm sure he's good. Man, are you feeling okay? He was mighty shocked, wasn't he? Pain Coon, you can't just be popping out as you please. You know better. I know, but you could have just pretended I was Sakura Plum. Yeah, that's it. There is no Sakura Plum. Yeah? It's fine, though. Anyway, before we leave, I think I'll go buy a figurine to keep us company, if you get my trick. Ew, no, no, no. You're not one of those guys, are you? What? No, I'm talking about her. You know. Uh, 
No, I don't. She who glitters even among the stars above. Pure Venus, your favorite? Oh, it's okay. We don't... Hopefully that means we can get back to the next one. Everything.